Shalom, shalom. Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites come week in, week in, week in, week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom that you know is uh, uh, America, but we know it is Babylon the Great. And this place is Father, but we the GMS Mobile account. And on this Shabbat lesson, various topics, we ain't got no particular topic. We're just going to flow in the spirit, or somewhat, you know. But before we get started, we're going to get all honor and glory to Yahweh by her son, Yahweh Shah by her son, and double honors to the apostles and the great millstone rule, who have been great to his young brothers in the truth. Peace and blessing to the hopeful elect. Lord, when this edifying. But uh, <clears throat> we're going to touch on, because tonight is supposed to be a, a new moon. Let me see who this is. Tonight is supposed to be a new moon. Mute, keep yourself muted, Hadab, yo, until you finish talk. But tonight is supposed to be a uh, not a new moon, uh, a blood moon, Salaki. And um, the scriptures speak on those things, you know. Uh, on how it's going to be signs in the heavens, you know, before that great and terrible day. But I think you got that precept, my dog. Yo. We can just get straight into it. Good. <laughs> Damn. Go ahead. A lot. I had unmuted you, muted. Yeah, my bad. We fight against each other. Yeah, this is um Joel chapter two, starting at verse twenty eight. It says, "And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids. In those days will I pour out my spirit." And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. Yep. Verse, verse 31, the sun shall be darkened, shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord Yahweh come. Yeah, and that's what we're seeing. The, the, the moon is going to turn into blood tonight, you know. And on the article i seen, they say that it's going to... Um, it's gonna appear right, right behind the um, the um. Let me pull it back. Let me see if I. It's gonna That's appear you. right behind the um, Statue of Liberty. All right, I'm pulling this article up. It's a super moon eclipse will be visible across North America on Tuesday. People in North America. South America, Africa, and Europe will have a chance to see part of the moon's surface obscured by the Earth's shadow. Obscured by the Earth's shadow. You say, um, f moon lovers, moon lovers have reason to s celebrate this week. A full moon on Tuesday will con coincide. Con coincide with a partial lunar eclipse giving people in North America, South America, Africa, and Europe a chance to see part of the moon's surface obscured by the Earth's shadow. A, a partial lunar eclipse occurs as the Earth passes between the moon and the sun, creating a celestial alignment that blocks sunlight from hitting the lunar surface was going to what signs in heaven you know because it's a it's a it's a lunar alignment just like when the planets line up and all those different things but the lord say these things are going to be happening in the times that we that in the end times you know the lord yeah, gave cool. signs to his prophets uh oh of, of what would what would be occurring in the when he's going to make his second coming and this is one of those signs, but you got it up. That was all in there, Hadab, yo. I think it's a little more on now. It might not be. Um, 
one more verse, verse 32, it say, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord Yahweh shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord Yahweh has said, and in the remnant of whom the Lord Yahweh shall call. Yeah, and that's why we tell our people repent, turn back to the Lord, call upon him. Not Jesus Christ, not Jesus Christus, not uh, uh, Hashem, Yeshua. Uh, uh, Yeshua, you know, give me some names, brothers. Yes, I'm like, I'm like a possible out there. <laughs> That's right. Yahweh. Uh, uh, Yahweh. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, all these crazy <laughs> names people call on. No, you're going to have to call on Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Uh, uh, uh you're gonna be fucked up man because the lord <laughs> the lord got a name you know somebody get that in, somebody get that in the uh prologue in ecclesiastical about the things other than the hebrew tongue so like it. because those names you call it the lord anything other than his name it don't it don't carry that weight man like it's supposed to man the Lord has only one name, and his name is Yahweh Shah. The Heavenly Father only has one name, man, and that's Yahweh. Point blank, period, man. You can't call the Lord whatever the fuck you want to call him, man. It's like, it's like, you know, my name, my name may be Fred or somebody. Somebody called me damn Frederick. Now my name might be, my name might be goddamn like, I'll just say Tom. Somebody call me Terry. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like total disrespect, man. Either learn my name or don't call me. Just say, hey, sir, or some something like that, man. Hey, my, hey, my man. You know? And that's just a title. You know what I'm saying? I got you. You got it. Yeah. It's um, Ecclesiasticus chapter 1, verse 1. It says, for the same thing uttered in Hebrew... And translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. Yeah, start that at the top again. Like Actually, in the middle. Let um, me say, for the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. Yeah, the Paleo Hebrew, his name is Yahawasha. And you utter yeah. his tongue in a whole nother language, it, it don't hold that weight, man. That ain't his name. You got to keep and, it. You got to keep it one hundred. You got it. Another thing about names, like if your name is whatever it is in English. Yeah. When you go to another country speaking another language, and you speaking to those, if you say you speak two languages, speak Spanish, you ain't gonna tell them. You gonna tell them your name is, is whatever your name is. You know, in English, and they gonna say your name in English. They not gonna say you give you a you know, say your name Spanish or or or, or, or Portuguese or a no a Chinese. No, they're gonna say your name because names don't translate. Uh, if if your name is whatever it is in English, that's your name in every language. Yep. Same with the Lord. His name yep. is in Hebrew, and that's his name in every language. That's why when you hear brothers when they speak in other languages. You know, they say you how shy because that's how you, you do it. And even if they speaking to you and say you speak their language, they gonna call you by your your actual name in your language and then start back speaking their language. Yep. You know? Yep. It's say it's say, but the law itself and the prophets and the rest of the book have no small difference. When they are spoken in their own language. Basically. And that's why the apostle pushed to go into the words in Hebrew, you know, go into go into the meaning of the words, you know, because it is it, it hold more weight, you know, when you, you say it in Hebrew. Now we do we speak fluent Hebrew? Some brothers probably can, but you know, that's not a requirement, you know, you but you should know a lot of words you should be constantly learning new words and you know growing but you know you ain't gonna you know we ain't got to speak fluent hebrew you know but it's important to know hebrew and you do want to learn hebrew prayers because it's gonna hold more weight if scripture just said it, you know 
and you definitely want to be called upon the name in his, in, in in true form. You know, yeah, how yeah, how was shy, you know. I got a quick one. To back y'all on the heat. What wrong with, what wrong with your camera? Y'all y'all see how his camera look? Got y'all? Who? Oh, is it, is Who, what's it look like what's on my screen? Like it's stretched out. It looked like it. It looked like it's smaller than everybody else's. Yeah, you got auto rotate. He got to turn his phone sideways, and I don't know if he can do that or not. Bro. Yeah, you gotta you gotta sit your phone sideways for it to turn. Okay, Kyle. But you gotta put your auto rotate on, and then it'll uh, it'll flip. But you gotta put the auto rotate on. It good though. Somebody got a pre ship. Correct. Yeah. You got it. Right? Mm. This is uh X chapter chapter nine and verse three. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven. And this is uh Paul. It says who well, his name was Saul at this time. It says. He fell because this is when he was persecuting the prophets. Mm-hmm. It said, verse four, and he fell unto on the earth, and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Yahweh Shai, whom thou persecutest. I'm trying to find where it say he spoke in the Hebrew. Um, I'm just like I'm just looking at like type in pure Hebrew. Okay. Same mistake. It might be in another. It might be in. It, it should be right there. But so it, you spoke it do to him say in the Hebrew tongue. Yeah, it do say that. I try to help you find it. Y'all brothers got some cool. Um. I got some. Somebody grab uh, uh, Matthew 24. Start at three. Because, you know, right now we're speaking about the signs of the coming of the Lord. And one of those is blood, moon, signs of heaven, the chariot, sightings, all these different things that occur in the earth. You know, in the skies, uh, when the fire, wildfires uh, going about, you know, it, the, the sky be looking like blood in certain places when it's a super bad wildfire. All those things are signs of the end. Those are not uh, just natural occurrences, and it's always happened. Just like the blood moons and all that shit. It don't, it don't, that, it, it used to be a, well, yeah, it won't happen again for another 20, 30 years. And now it's like it happened. It's a different moon back every back. month. Yep. It's a different eclipse every every two months, man. Uh, actual, uh, 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 what it is, solar eclipse. Yep. It's a, a solar eclipse. eclipse and a lunar eclipse every, you know, month, every two months. <laughs> you know, it's a constant thing. But usually they'll be like, well, yeah, this, this only occurs every... Or uh, thirty-five years, uh, every fifty years, we won't see this again to another hundred years, and it and not is every month. Every month it's a new moon, not a new moon, but every month it's a new super moon, a uh, blood moon, a uh, lunar eclipse, then solar eclipse. And then different the only thing, planet. yep. So like yep. I was gonna say, the only thing they're doing is giving them different names. It, it's still the same thing at the end of the yep. day. It's yeah. only a solar eclipse, and it's a it's a lunar eclipse, blood moon, you know. Mm-hmm. But they want they like to give them they like to give them names. But then yeah, we but know that we know that these are the signs that the heavenly Father through His only begotten Son told us is going to be happening right before that great and t- terrible day, man. You got? Yeah. I got. I found it. You got it. Um, X twenty six verse thirteen. At midday, O king, I saw in the way a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun shining round about me and them which journeyed with me. What, where you at? 
um, twenty six and fourteen. Is he just recounting? Acts yeah, um, yeah, nine. yeah. Just call it that so people know where okay. you. Yeah, come on, come on. Um, this Acts twenty six verse fourteen, and when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Yahweh Shah, whom thou persecutest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's and what just, he said yeah. in the Hebrew tongue. He said, yep. I'm Yahweh Shah. He didn't say, I'm Jesus. Yep. Or Jesus. Because those aren't, those yeah. aren't paleo Hebrew names, man. Huh. That was it on it. And see, you, I got, you got people one. that want to take their name Jesus for face value. We talk about our book was give, j- given into the hands of devils, man. Just like we was getting given into the hands of devils. You know, but the but the Lord ordained a, a remnant, you know, and being taught by a man that ac- actually did the footwork on bringing these names back to uh, all the believers, man. So... If a person still want to call on Jesus Christ and the elect, they let them go right ahead, man. Because they not of the elect anyway, man. You know? Say, let them be ignorant still. Let them be ignorant right. still, man. Right. As long as we got it. Because the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous going to run into it and going to be safe, man. We're going to call on the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shah in hopes to be delivered, man. We call on those on those names with faith, one hundred percent faith, man, because we know those names are real and those names we gonna stand on. And they're powerful, more powerful than the, uh, the yeah. Angels. When you pray, when you pray in those names, man, your prayers get answered, man. Even when you throw up curses in those names, man, hey, man, it's heavy. It's heavy. That's the that's the language of the heavens, Paleo Hebrew. The heavenly Father, the Son, and the angels speak that language, man. Yep. And in the kingdom of heaven, all nations are gonna speak that language once again. See that everybody speak different languages now. Going back to the time of the Tower of Babel. Babel, yep. You know where they was, you know, conspiring against the Lord, and the Lord yep. found that their languages. Con. Con. But that 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 lineage, <laughs> that chosen lineage. Pass that language down, but the sons of Ham, the sons of Japheth, they didn't, they didn't keep that language, you know. Yep. Okay. And then, and, and even within the sons of Shem, you know that language slowly departed. You know the people in the earth that speak the closest, what a, you know the uh, uh, the Arabs, the uh, Ishmaelites, you know. Yep. Aramaic language. Yep. You had something in the cor- cor- correct I did. It was back on the uh the Yeah, you ain't, you ain't gotta mute yours because it ain't echoing unless you hear an echo. You only mute it if if you if the echo comes through your phone. Yeah, you good. It's going back on the signs, the one that I had. It's in Genesis one, um, Genesis one, verse first, verse fourteen, and the Most High said, "Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven, to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years." Yep, and those uh, keep uh, where you at in uh verse fifteen, Genesis uh, one fifteen. It's a little more. Yeah, keep going there. Yeah. Verse 15, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And the Most High made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and, and the lesser the sun, light. The sun. You got it. And the lesser light to rule the night. The moon. He made yeah. the stars also. Yep, going to all the different celestial 
thing you know either you some of the stars you see they might be actual planets you know they might be galaxies i don't fucking know you know but mostly everything we see are, are different stars and planets in our solar system you got to get into them telescopes to see galaxies and shit like that you know what i'm saying hey man uh-huh. the kingdom of heaven gonna be uh-huh. one hell of a place man Okay. It's, gonna nice. it's gonna be beyond Earth, God. to infinity and beyond. Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Well, you Same. you know if you if you like somewhere in the desert or something, I'm pretty sure I can attest to it. He driving the truck for us upon a time. You get somewhere away from the city and rural area when it be dark as hell, you'll see them on a clear night. Yeah. You'll be like, man, this shit beautiful. You know, yeah. the stars will be just, you'll see so many stars. It just look, it'll look totally different, you know. Yep. Not only that, just being out in the country and shit, you know, with all them cornfields and shit like that. Yeah. Like riding through them countries, especially like on the, when it, like in the wintertime when it's a cold night, the star is yeah. like the star will really be out then. Yeah, when it's cl- super, super clear. Yeah. Ain't a cloud in sight. You can see the chariots moving, mm-hmm. or whether it be satellites. You can see you can see so-called falling stars. I seen a so-called falling star the, the other night, man. This past weekend. Yep. You know. As they say. Yeah, as they say. Yep. You know, which they they be a, a, a meteorite, you know, shoot yep. or a comet, so to speak. So to yep. speak, this some of them be chariots. You know what they tell me. That everything no damn meteorite. Huh. All right, let's say uh, let them be for signs. So you know, just backing you brothers, the Lord is using the blood moon for signs of the end. Like I say, uh, Malachi before the before the Lord sent uh, Elijah the prophet before the yep. terrible day of the Lord. Yep. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? You you had that? Oh, no, no, I'll get it real quick. Here yeah, you go, see. here you go, right here. Uh, Malachi okay. chapter 4 and verse 5. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord Yahweh. Come. Yeah, he and, shall and, turn. And, the, and the Lord sent Elijah the prophet, and that's Abba Bibbins, you know, before that great and notable day. <laughs> You know, the Lord sent them, and he turned, you got it. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Okay. And, and the Lord, and hey, that's what our business job was. He, he, he started this movement that we are part of, you know? There's this movement that's exploded throughout the earth, all these camps, you know, all these people calling themselves Hebrew Israelites, you know, uh, uh, calling them the names that you have by Shem, you have a shadow, uh, I've been started this, through the spirit and power you have by Shem, you have a shadow. Yeah, by Shem, you have a shadow. Uh, but I think you'll be fucked up, man. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody from say so. Got your order froze up. Oh no, you did. I got one too. This um Matthew chapter sixteen and verse one. It says the Pharisees also, which with the Sadducees came and tempting and tempting, desiring him that he would show them a sign from heaven. And he answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say it is, it will be fair weather. For the sky is red and loud, and, and in the morning it will be foul weather today. For, for the sky is red and oh, uh, so like let me read to say say he answered and said unto them, when it is evening, he say it will be fair weather. For the sky is red. Verse three they say and in the morning it will be it will be foul weather today. For the sky is red and lowry. Oh, ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the skies, but can 
Can ye not discern the signs of the times? A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there will and there shall no sign be given unto him but the sign of the prophet Jonas, and he left them and departed. You know, so the Lord was like this wicked and, and uh, uh, wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after the, after a sign. But Jacob's so wicked, and they'll believe in these words. So the signs, the prophets out. The prophets showing through the scriptures, like, look, look what's going on in the earth. It's a blood moon tonight. Look at that eclipse. You know, look at how all uh, 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 the wars and the rumors of wars, T for wild beasts, pestilence, all these different things happen. We at the end, you know. But we like we like the people with the ten four hands. Oh man, them niggas crazy. Like, what are you talking about? You know, right? We telling them about World War Three, thermonuclear destruction. All the signs are right before us, man. But our people rejecting the sign. They don't want to hear that. We, I, I, niggas don't want to hear what we got to say about the scripture. They don't want to say. They don't want. They don't care about no damn sign. You know. If you ain't teaching, talking to them about prosperity, they don't want to hear. No, we come to you with signs over and over and over, showing you all the signs that the Lord say was going to be happening in the end time before he returned. And niggas don't want to, you know, accept it. But that's what the Lord said. He's going to choose their delusions. Like, like going back, going back to that word delusion. Being delusional. Let me get that definition again. Because I like bringing this out, man. It's beautiful. Um, I like it. And I believe we're looking for a sign, but hey, no one is sending a sign to the lit, you know. Because like the brother said, the Lord is choosing two-thirds delusion. You know, he got them blinded to the signs. They can't understand the prophecies and, and the scriptures, the spirit, yep. because the Lord didn't, didn't give them some. Exactly. And the definition of delusional is, it says, characterized by or holding false beliefs or judgments about external reality that are held despite incontrovertible evidence to the contrary, typically as a symptom of a mental condition. These niggas got a mental condition that the Lord done put on them, man. They can't they can't determine the signs of the times. And I'm going to that word incontrovertible. It, it says not able to, to be denied or disputed. You can't deny that we, that we ain't at the end, man. You can't deny that, man. We are at the end. Because the Lord gave us the secrets. He, he, he told us the signs of the times. And if you can't believe in that, you got a mental condition. If, if you can't see these signs of these times, you got a mental condition, man. I got, I, I got a quick one real quick. Yo. It's Amos 3 and 7. It says, surely the Lord will do nothing when he reveals his secrets of his servants, the prophets. That's it. You know, so the Lord revealing us his secrets and we... We revealing it to the earth. We proclaim it upon the um, upon the high mountain. But whether they hey, believe it or repent. not, come. We blowing the trumpet and lighting. I repent. Hey, the Lord on that way. He finna kill us if we don't repent. You know, all of us if we don't repent. If we don't get ourselves together, the Lord is getting ready to come back and destroy those who are not with him, man, and deliver those who with him. I got a quick one. Brother, this is uh, Revelation 6 and verse, verse 12. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the, the sun became black as sackcloth of, of hair. That's speaking of the nukes. So Revelation 9 speak of it being 200 million. And it said, well, 200 million warheads. It says, um, and the moon became as blood. Um, speaking of the, you know, the signs, man, the, the, the blood moon. But, but that's right before, that's around the same time that these prophecies are coming to pass. 
they're gonna continue. It's like the brother saying, every month, every 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 couple months, you got a blood bank. You're gonna keep coming until the end. You know, to them earth, to them nukes come. That great earthquake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got one straight to the point. It's uh, Revelation 22 and 12. These words are in red, so you know what that means. It says, and behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. So the Lord say he coming with his reward, man, to, to reward every man for for they for they work that they did on the earth, whether it be wicked ass deeds, the Lord gonna reward you with wickedness. And if you was doing righteous, the Lord gonna reward you with righteousness, man. He's gonna reward you with a crown. Mm-hmm. You know? I got That's why a the scripture say, let no man take thy crown. Continue in righteousness, man. Because we at the end of this thing, man. We seeing solely eclipses, like you say, left and right. Blood, so-called blood moon, left and right. Man, it's getting heavy, bro. Mm-hmm. We see and we see in the chip getting ready to be made mandatory. Boy, that's the ultimate temptation that finna come upon the whole world and motherfucker running around here with their head up their ass like this ain't even happening. Yep. Or they see it, but they really don't give a damn. I mean, what are you gonna do when when it when this get presented to you right in your face, man? Take it. That's it. They gonna take it. That's it. Gonna fold. Yeah. Cause a lot of like them got that. children. They're gonna be like, man, man, my children need to eat. Mm-hmm. You got see it, us. The we perfect, look at it the, in the sense if we build old men, our children will be protected. But what if not, man? I mean, you got to look at it as we all belong to the Lord, man. You got to give your child back to the Lord. <laughs> Whatever he see fit, it's gonna his he, will gonna be done. Whatever it, it don't matter if you try to get in the way mm-hmm. or none of that, man. His will still will be done. Right. Yeah, they that seek to save that life shall lose it. So lose you seeking it. to save your life, your children's life, your the scriptures that the Lord told you, he who love mother and daughter, son more than me is not worthy of me. Yep. So you said. worried about all those miscellaneous things. Nah, but you worried about everything else besides you how about show me how was shot. You going the fuck off, man. Which well, not saying you're not gonna worry about it, but I'm saying if you're gonna put that before your faith and your how about show me how shy, you willing to uh, 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 take a sea hill, you know, right. just for your child can eat when the Lord that's why you're supposed to be gathering this oil in your vessel because the scriptures told us what was gonna happen. The scriptures the speak about how. Never have the righteous, never have I seen the righteous forsaken Lord's seed begging bread. So them kids can cry for a minute, but the Lord gonna provide some food. You know? Yep. But if they receive that chip, the Lord gonna provide a missile for their ass, man. And that's for anybody who take it. The yep. Lord ain't a respect the person, the Lord don't give a damn. I got a precept. This uh second Ezra 16 and 69, straight to the point. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision. And in reproach and trying on the foot because the thing about it is, even though you get your consent to go ahead and take the motherfucker, man, the Lord gonna try you on trying you under his foot. He, t- he said he gonna he gonna tread the wine press. Mm-hmm. The Lord gonna stomp you out, man. The heathen gonna stomp you out. Then ultimately, the Lord gonna come stomp you out. Mm-hmm. So that's a, that's a lose 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 basically. <laughs> that's a triple loss. Yep. The Lord says, seek ye, seek ye the kingdom first. That's, 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 you know, our minds are supposed to be on the, we, we hasten in the coming of the Lord. We want the prophecies to come to pass because we, we, we seeking the kingdom first. And then all things shall be added unto us, you know, to the best of our ability. Man, right. you got to trust, you got to, you got to trust in these words. The Lord said the righteous will never forsaken their seed, never beg for bread. That ain't how the Lord's going to take. If we have to perish, it ain't going to be by starvation. So why you worried about that? Lord ain't, that's one of the worst ways to die. Why would the Lord take his His, his chosen out like that? You know, Lord willing, we are part of that number. Why would the Lord t- torture us with famine? The, the scriptures speak about how, oh, the Lord ain't going to tempt 
nobody more than what they are, the elect more than what they are able. So everybody got that perfect temptation that's coming for them, but they're going to overcome it if you're a part of the elect. And if you're not, you're going to take the mark. You're going to, you're going to do whatever these people say just to eat, you know, because you're weak and you're not a part of the elect. And, yeah. right, and if, if say, the Lord do allow you to start, you got to keep him in my fuck it, man, shit. At least I, I ain't consent to this, nigga. I'll just go out like that, fuck You know, at least I ain't consent to Esau. Yeah, I hope yeah. the Lord have mercy right. on me. You know, if I die, you know, when I die, hopefully the Lord raise me up when he returns. That should be the mindset. Like, no matter how I go, I ain't consent to Esau. I'm not going, I'm not getting down with this man's agenda, his program, no matter how it go. Just like Shirek, Meshach, and Abednego. You know? Right. They said, shit, look, hey, even if the Lord don't deliver us out of this furnace, man, guess what? We going to keep our trust in the Lord. Fuck that, you know? At least we ain't consent to goddamn these <coughs> wicked decrees from the heathen. Fuck yeah. Dying with integrity. Yep. That that was that yep. should be on your mind, dying with integrity, if if needs be. Yep. You know, a yep. lot of these motherfuckers gonna punk the fuck out. Yep. You know, and just they gonna fold, man. Hey, Lord willing we don't. An, another situation just like the the mother and her seven sons. Yep. You know? Hey, if we, even it, it, it even get that right. deep, like even if you got a chance to save your children life, uh your Somebody child life or whatever. What you gonna do, man? Yeah, Are you gonna stand on integrity? You know? Cause at the end of the day, you gotta realize it may look cruel and hurt or whatever to the flesh, but it ain't to no the, such thing as death, man. To the Maccabees, ain't it? So like it. Yeah, and Maccabees. First Maccabees, I think. Seven, I think. But right. you know, if 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 you, if, if you understand these scripts and truly believe, you understand ain't no such thing as death. They can kill us now. But guess what? <laughs> the Lord, Yahweh said he conquered death, man. You know, he say death is swallowed up in victory. When he returned, those who the saints are gonna rise. But let's get some priests up. Talk to um, you, man. I got one. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Going to um, you know the 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 last the last days, you know, basically, you know, Jacob's trouble. Come. This is um Luke chapter twenty one, the point in verse twenty five, but I'm start at twenty two. It reads, "For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. Yep. But woe unto them that are with child." what anybody say no verse 23 it say but woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days for there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people verse 24 and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And this was going and uh, ultimately, you know, this was like the siege, so to speak. You know, during the siege of 70 AD when Jerusalem, the temple was sacked, and Jerusalem was destroyed in 70 AD. Because this account that you're reading is the same account in Matthew 24, which I got pulled up. So you got to slot it. And in Jerusalem is being trodden down by the Gentiles now as we speak, man. By those small headers, those are the Gentiles. By the old Palestinian, those are Gentiles. Yeah, those are not the true people. Are are Israelites scattered amongst them? Of course. You got that right. It's Israelites over there uh, scattered out because we we wherever we was at, we we look like those nations because we talking about multiple generations you know, amongst these different nations. So you got Israelites that's going to look exactly like every, any and every nation on the face of the earth, man. Exactly like them. Damn, they're acting like them. They're with a little salt to them, you know. A little flavor to them, man. I got you. The Jeremiah 12 and 9, my inheritance is unto me as a speckled bird. 
birds round about or against her come ye assemble all the beasts of the field come to devour so when you look at a speckled bird a speckled bird got black in it got white in it brown mm -hmm. colors all mm -hmm. kinds of colors man colorful yeah I'm saying, come ye beast of the field, come ye devour, go and set a heedness, you know, the, the other nation. Because even even without us being scattered amongst these nations, we will, we'll, you know, range from dark, dark brown to light, light brown, you know what I'm saying? Before the nations even, you know, uh, uh, infiltrated, you know? That's why that's why you can have a child, you know, with the right person that's an Israelite, both of y'all dark skin, your child might come out light skin. You know? And and, and you know, it, it that's just how the Lord, you know, got his people. Because the Lord is with variety, man. You got some people who got more straighter coarse curly hair, you know, like the Northern Kingdom. And then amongst the Northern King, you got some of them got some super nappy ass hair, man. <laughs> you know, it should nappy his head when you get out the. But that's you got to get out the country though. Then you got to get out of America. That we've been in America too goddamn long, so it's stereotype. Like it's yeah, right. you know, it got to look just like this. But when you go into those other countries, you know, the South America, and, and image, all, I you know what Jake scattered it. Yep. Yeah, that's a perfect example. That's a perfect example how Esau came out, you know. <laughs> you know? Ain't nothing new under came out with leprosy, so to speak. Because yep. that's that's what it is. Like if you lack uh pigment and you that white, you know, that's a, the plague of leprosy. But it's a such thing as a clean leper. What they call now albinism, albino. Albino. You know? But it's ultimately leprosy. And you got unclean lepers and clean lepers. Yep. Right. Ain't nothing new under the sun. <laughs> yep. And that's why the Lord, hey, the Lord put all kind of signs for his servants to reveal unto you people, man. And we blow the trumpet throughout the earth, warning, like, look, hey, we the Lord chose the people. Uh oh, well, if, if Jacob and Esau, then how Esau come out white and Jacob come out black? Just like the brother just did, just like this. You know, mm -hmm. you ain't gonna never see no Edomites throw up the phone and, and they, you know, two Edomites produce no goddamn uh, uh, dark skinned baby unless she was cheating on the husband with a so called Israelite man. Yep. <laughs> you ain't gonna see it. You know? Because because when you come out, when you come out a degenerate like that, say like if you're a so called white man. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna be given melanin. Melanin got to be stripped away from you. Uh -huh. You know, ain't no, ain't no way a so-called white man finna have a child is dark skinned man. Yep. Even, even, even with you know, um, like when when Jake go into so-called Edomite so many times, them them children ain't you ain't gonna have no your your child ain't gonna come out dark skin. Yeah. <laughs> you know. If you're you a so-called Israelite, but you look like a white man, and you going right. into white women and shit, right. you know, constantly, you know, your right. son's going, your, your, your seed ain't going to come out super dark. Right. You know? Yeah. You can I hang guess, it up. It I ain't that's what happen. I'm trying to say. So, like, like oh, you good. I don't yeah, know. yeah, like, like uh, a so-called white man and a white woman, they ain't finna have no chocolate child. No, like these two no, chocolate no. individuals had a so-called white looking yeah. child. You know what I'm saying? Now they may they may have a child with you know may look more tan the you know cream or color or something, but it ain't gonna be dark skin. See dark skin, but but we know when the X chromosome and Y chromosome, we ain't gonna you know, I don't yeah, know yeah, about yeah. all that shit. But you know, the dark skin is a dominant trait, you know. See in the kingdom of heaven, whatever, however we look, however it go. When we get with another nation, our it ain't gonna never. We ain't gonna start looking like the other nations. Our children, they might have a little slight features or whatever, but our children gonna continue. They gonna look like you know, oh, that's a Reubenite, oh, that's a Benjaminite right there. You know, gonna have that distinct look. Then they gonna have the glow. 
aura. Or just like a planet illuminate within itself, we're going to illuminate within ourselves, showing you that we are children of the Lord. Just like these planets are, 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 are um, uh, bodies of the Lord. We're going to glow just like, because, hey, the, the, sun, the earth don't need the sun to shine. The earth got its own, like, if we was far away from the earth, the earth would look like a star. And, and you know, when it's, when it's daytime, so to speak. Just like Mars look like a star, and Venus look like a star, and Neptune, and all these, if you can catch it in the alignment. You know, different moons, they look like star because they got their own illumination. And we're going to have our own illumination. We're going to literally be glowing. Yep. The illuminated ones. The real Illuminati. You got it, Crichton. Crichton, I say you got one. You got something there, y'all? Oh, she has something. I had something. Let Karachi like that man if you got something. Yeah, some more on there. Oh, well, finish yours, then let Karachi like go. Back in that Luke chapter 21, verse 25. Y'all got it. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Yep, you know, seeing the waves going into or well, it's like you could continue to like you got to up. It, it's a um men's hearts failing for fear because perplexity means confusion they're gonna be confused and um that's like it that's that's what i was gonna say right but it it it, it also you know it it, it it say um back in that 25 it say and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars you know that that was that was the point the verse that was the point it say and upon the earth distress of nations so it, it, it's gonna be signs in, in the heavens you know and while the signs going on in the heavens the the, the nations is going to be in distress you know the the nations are, are, are going to be in in bad condition man i got you one real quick this uh jeremiah chapter 10 and verse one it say, Hear ye the word which the Lord Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. All right. So two know. thirds, yeah, they like heathen, they're going to be dismayed, you know, at, at the signs too. Mm-hmm. So like, uh, uh, you know, and the, the, we, we're, like the scriptures say, we, we once knew these things, man. You know, we 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 knew who we was. We knew our heritage. We knew, you know, how to read the stars. You know how to how to line up with the stars or whatever. You know, okay. going back to the tribe of Issachar, huh. giving yeah. that power to understand the different alignments of the heavens. Not Esau got that power. Esau can, you know, watch the stars and know when to do this and that. Mm-hmm. And, and the Lord raised him up on that level to destroy this nigga, man. Yep. Yeah. Verse 26, it say, Men's hearts fell in them for fear and looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with power and with and great glory. Ooh. You know, so up 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 until the Lord's coming. All right, it's, it's, it's going to be, you know, um, it's going to be sightings in the heavens, you know. It's going to be blood moons, super wolf gray moons. It's going to be lunar eclipse. It's going to be solar eclipse, you know. The nation's going to be in distress, man. You know, all, all these things is, 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 is already upon the earth, man, you know. So that, hey, we, we're close to the end. And it, it, it just gonna get you know more more you know worse than what it is now, man. As we get to the end, it, it, it's gonna get more crucial and and, and you know and, and 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 you know rough, you know. And, and that's if I can add 
that's why the Lord got, he's pouring out his spirit upon our flesh. And, and you got women, men having dreams, you know, of of, this, of a torment and different ter- terrifying visions of the time to come. Mm-hmm. Uh, this Acts, real quick, Acts chapter 2, verse 17. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith the, the Most High, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Okay. And my yep. servants. Yep. It's like, okay. and, and, and we know, you know, women are not prophets, you know. That right there, speaking about when they having their dreams and their visions, you know, they, they tell somebody, you know, or they dream, you know, what, what they saw. Like like the little girl years back, she was telling her mama that she's seeing the Lord, you know, mm-hmm. and he's very angry and he's coming very fast. Mm-hmm. That's right. That I, I, I that that little girl, she she ain't sleep. She'd go back to sleep that night. I bet she didn't, because she she was trembling in her boots. And mm-hmm. she was um northern tribe, you know. But but she she prophesied to, to her to her mama that she's seeing the Lord on his way back, you know. <clears throat> about, you know, but you got it up. And that's that's the difference between a, a vain dream, a use a uh, empty dream and a prophet a dream of prophecy, because what she dreamt is what the scriptures say. Mm-hmm. And that's why I said they it say again verse eight uh Acts two and eighteen on and on my servants and on my handmaids I will pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy, and I will shew wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire, and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and in the moon, and the moon into blood, before the great and notable day the Lord come. Yep, I mean, these things are constantly reoccurring. And uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, when it, it, the worse things get, the more it's gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna keep happening, man. That's why they ain't telling you it's, you no, know, this don't only occur once a decade. You know, they ain't saying that shit no more because it happened every month now. It's an eclipse, you know, or a blood moon. And, and, and they say that they always happen, but why are these uh, occurrences always happening over these? key continents where it's going to be visible to you know all to see you know they say they always happen but they usually happen in uh places where you won't be able to see them you know but nah they happen over america all the time over europe you know you know canada you know they they in prominent places where you can constantly see it because it's the, these signs of the lord the lord positioning everything perfectly to show like I'm finna come fuck everybody everybody who don't repent. And, and right. well not everybody I'm gonna come fuck all these heathen up and all my people who won't repent, I, you gonna get caught up with them, man. All right. And, and in that article, what what did that blood moon what did the article say that blood moon was gonna appear? Over oh, the no, Statue no. of Liberty? Let me try to find it. Cause it did say that. <laughs> Yep, let me go to and that and, and that Acts chapter two verse seventeen it say or verse eighteen it say on my servants and on my handmaids I will pour out my spirit and we got the the elders and apostles have they have dreams and the brothers and we you know between us the believers that boosts our faith because. The Lord give them visions of the time to come in detail, and we can visualize it like it's going into and Second Maccabees with the with the mother, and her seven sons, how they were had to undergo torture. You know? yep. Got it like living and holding it up. Yep, but up under that picture, I'm guessing it happened before. Under that picture, it say the full harvest moon sets behind the Statue of Liberty as the sunrise in New York. On September tenth, but it's this. Well, this old. It's old. It's like, yeah. yeah, this old. But th- this article is new. This article ah. new. Mm. But hey, that 
That that's hey, that's a sign the Lord finna come rain on, on their parade, man. Yeah, this article September 15th, 2024. Uh I just read it wrong. But they got this image on there. So I'm guessing it's gonna be somewhat similar. I don't know why they got it on there. But in twenty twenty two, September the same time last year, <laughs> you know, well close to the same time. Not last year, two years ago. It appeared over the statue. A blood moon appeared over the Statue of Liberty. Mm -hmm. And that's a sign of a lot of blood is getting ready to be shed, man. Uh -huh. You know, because this land can't be cleansed of the blood, but by the blood of him that shed it, man. This stolen land, bro. And this this is what a bulk of the Israelites at, man. Yep. Uh. Hey, the law finna come rain on, 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 on the parade, man. He finna come fuck some shit up, man. And this the warning, man. America will be destroyed within an hour, man. Thermonuclear yep. missile, man. You can believe it or not, but this is the warning. You can take it for what it's worth. Like, every man was given his own measure of faith. So if you don't have faith to believe that, the Lord say all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Point blank period, man. Yeah. Fuck, fuck your liberty. The Lord can come and set, set things back in order the way it's supposed to be, man. Yeah, because ain't no free will. Ain't no such thing as free will, man. That's a lie. They lied to you. Yeah, our people loathing the Lord's law while they had while yet they yet have liberty. Yep. And place of repentance. Here yep. you is in Babylon, the great America. <laughs> you know? What they say, give me liberty or give me what? what yeah. Give me liberty. Yeah. yeah, give me yeah. liberty or give me death. Hey, exactly Lord what gave y'all liberty. Y'all ain't repent. So Lord finna give you death, man. Yep. You know, right with these Edomites. All these heathen, they going, they, see the heathen, they going to captivity. You yep. Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, Lord finna put you down, man. Like a stray. You know, like a stray mm -hmm. dog. Right. Yep. Put you down. I got you, uh, I get some of that uh second edit of nine if ain't nobody got none. Started at the top. Come on. The second edit because of nine. these are part of the signs. You know? I got one. I got one rip. Before you get that, if I make it go right into it, it's, it's real quick. Uh jo Joel chapter three, verse nineteen. Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah. Because they have shed innocent blood in their land. Yeah, this modern day Egypt, man, and this land was already fucking occupied before you fucking heathens came over here. Y'all shed the blood, man. Of these people right here, man. Y'all shed the blood, man. Mm -hmm. The Northern Kingdom, man. They was already here. Then you want to call them immigrants and shit. Motherfucker, if anything, they indigenous to this place, man. Yeah, or uh, illegal aliens. Yeah, type shit. You got a recompense coming to you for that, man. You said the blood of Israelites, man. No. You got it. And you think you're going to get away scot free? Nah. Mm. <laughs> Lord, for the fuck these people up, man. Rightfully Lord so. Lord willing, we able to escape that judgment that's going to come down upon the earth, man. It ain't going to be cute. That's right, man. Much tribulation. Shall we enter to the king? And that's the elect. Heathens ain't got no fucking hope, man. Yeah, they true. The tribulation sure. gonna get you out of here. And two thirds gonna the tribulation gonna get you out of here. Yep. Verse twenty. It. But but Judah shall dwell forever, and Jerusalem from generation to generation. For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed. That was the Lord getting ready to do. He getting ready to cleanse the blood that have not been cleansed yet, man. The, this, man, the blood when the when the blood leak out of the body, it cry unto the Most High God, man. For the Lord Yahweh dwelleth in Zion. Zion, it's us Israelites, man. So called Negroes, Hispanic, Latino, Latino, Native, and Seminole Indian, man. The so called Chickasaw, Cha Cha Creek, Cherokee, you Black know, foot, whatever. Blackfoot, Lakota. All them mother, all them, all them Israelites that you made treaties with, and you didn't admire now one of them. You got, you got a payment coming for that shit, man. 
Trail of Tears. All that, man. You got to pay. And get what you got to pay with. Your blood. You got Ooh. it. That's yeah, recompense, yeah. nigga. Man, fuck a reparation. That's real reparation. You got it. I'll get in this second edge if that was it. Oh. Uh, let me get this real quick. Since y'all speaking about blood, this the book of um, this book of Matthew chapter twenty three and verse. Uh, I start at twenty five and say, "Woe unto you." Matthew 23 and verse 25, woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye clean the outside of the cup of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. Thou blind Pharisees cleanse the first, um, let me make sure. I think, uh, Elder, uh, uh, did a lesson earlier, it said, uh, the out, you cute on the outside, but on the inside, you dirty. Yeah, the yeah. I'm, I'm way too low, so like it. <clears throat> I'm way too low. The uh, but the, the, that's what it's talking about. It's, it's talking about the wicked scribes, Pharisees. You know, this is the book of Matthew, chapter twenty three, and I started at thirty three. Mutual, so that's what I do. For some reason, when I talk. <clears throat> Through yours, if you ain't muted, I hear myself. Probably but you gonna you unmute it when I ain't talking. Yeah, huh? Probably because you the host, ain't no telling. Probably so. Y'all hear the volume. Yeah. It, it may just be me. I don't know. I just hear myself. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I do hear it echo. When, yeah, I, I did hear when he had his on muted. As long as I ain't Ruby. talking shit, everybody else sound regular. It's just when I talk, you know, when I ain't talking, you gonna unmute. You got it. When you. I notice when you got your volume all the way up, it's a, it's a, it's always an echo. It's turning down. Yeah, I, 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 I uh, try to turn it down because my speakers at the bottom of my laptop. Yeah, that needs to be it too. Probably, the sound probably, ref, you know, bouncing off the, the um, table here. But I tried to turn it down to see if that would work, but obviously it didn't. Oh, no, nah, that ain't really it's good. Cause my my speakers up loud too. Sound good, no? Yeah. yeah, it's good for. I don't know. Ain't no telling what it is. Shit, it just. Hey, when I'm talking, they're muted. And then when I, I'm done talking, you can you can unmute it and shit. I don't hear nothing long. Everybody else good, you know. Uh, sound good. But let me get this. This on uh, Matthew 23, and I start at verse 34. It reads, "Wherefore, behold, I send you, I send unto you prophets and wise men, scribes." And some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them ye shall scourge in your synagogues. See these the things. These, this is like it. These the things that we got on our mind, man. You know, I mean, the Lord don't give us a spirit of fear, but of a sound mind. But these are the conversation that we ought to be in in these last days, man. Not partying and bullshitting. Come about going to goddamn stupid ass concerts, going to see a lame ass nigga. It ain't never did nothing for you. You giving your money when you need to be fucking prepping. Don't you know motherfuckers getting ready to starve? And you going to give a lame ass nigga some money at a concert type shit, man? You yeah. gotta be crazy. Yep. Yep. I just wanted to say that, man. Folly is set in great yeah. dignity and rich sit in low, low, and, and low, and low places like it. Because after that mirth, after you get a good, good laugh and get, get your dance on and you drink on all that bullshit, you still got to go to your motherfucking monk ass house. Yep. You still got to go back to that monk ass job you working on the plantation, get yep. somebody else fucking richer. And the prophecy still coming. Yep. Yeah. Famine, famine coming. You know, for you, like you said, prepping and you know doing, you can do something better with your money. You know. Hell yeah. Them wits out there. Hell yeah. You better stack up on some fucking water. <laughs> Something. Can't good. It's like it, man. Y'all got it. <laughs> Shit. Back in this. Of course, we know this, this, uh, the word is, you know, what we prepping on the most, our faith building. Yeah, yeah, faith. no doubt, no doubt. 
Yeah, because if you ain't part of the lick, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Pretty <laughs> much. You ain't repent your ass. Pretty much. You know, we here to tell you first. You can goddamn go on prep it up. Guess what? It's going to be left to the chosen. That's if a motherfucker was in their right mind, though. You know, I, I see what you're saying, but damn. Uh, yeah. Like you say, father said a great dignity, man, at the end of the day. You got it. Uh-huh. Yep. But like it gotta to say, be something. Hey, if if these things wasn't happening, then you know what we what we saying wouldn't hold no weight. We see it, but they don't. You know, so we need these man. things to be happening. So shit, like a possible boy, I was, ain't no reason to be mad, bro. It, it ain't no reason to be mad because we know at the end of the day, it's all prophecy. Yeah, uh, you can do a praise the Lord like the why you have about some you have a shot, and man. then you know, hey. These niggas see the females, the Lord didn't apart them with them. So you when know, our hair break loose, they gonna be looking for us for stability and they gonna see know, the stability within us and they gonna wanna quit each other. That's why seven women gonna take hold of one man. But these men day. out here who in their spirit, they gonna be through. That's why they ain't gonna be looking for them, man. Cause they ain't gonna have no answers. We gonna have all the answers. We're gonna be sitting back calm, cool, and collected. Yo. Lord willing, we're a part of those men no matter Lord what willing. the fuck going on because we've been Prepping. practicing for this Yo. great test Yo. all these years that we've been in the truth or however long we've been in the truth. Start with uh, our apostles and elders on down. We practice. We Every day we practice it. Yo. We're going through the word. We're listening to the word, brother, bringing it out. Every day we, we it, it's basically a rehearsal hearing what the Lord finna do to the earth, man. So when these things start happening, you're supposed to lack faith or, you know, be you're supposed to be excited. Like, yeah. You know, even people just, uh, what the Lord said, um, in the uh, in the second coming, they're going to be just like the days of Noah. They're going to be eating, drinking, marrying, giving in the marriage to the day that the Lord, the day of the Lord come upon them. So we got to rejoice in these things like the water y'all, by shim y'all side is happening. Because prophecy being fulfilled. So everybody followed in their lights again, and Lord willing, we follow them in our lights as the prophets, you know? And we can sit back and watch them like, yeah, this this what was going on during the time of Noah. People get married, people all at concerts, and, you know, just bullshit, not paying attention to what's going on, what the Lord finna do, man. You know? Lord finna do a lot of fucking, he already doing a lot of killing. I got you one straight to the point, though. This Isaiah 26, I'm going to start at the top, the point in verse 3. It says, in that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. Open ye the gates that the righteous nation, which keep it the truth, may enter in. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. Because he trusted in me. You got it? Uh-huh. Yep. And they're going to the, the, the elect, you know. Because we, we focused on how best you how was shot. Even it. if you do something, you had your good time here and now, here, blue moon. Guess what? Our mind still, because it you really, when you really locked in, like, none of this shit really excites you. It you don't. You know? It like, don't. It's like, uh, Okay, you know, but this place finna get destroyed. <laughs> you know, that's what's on your mind the whole time. You know, this shit over. You know, this shit folly at the end of the day. Some bullshit at the end of the day. You know, like but I'm gonna have a good time at the moment, but this shit over. Like, you know, mm-hmm. I'm ready for this place to be destroyed and have a, a real. See, when we in the kingdom, we really gonna. We don't even know what a good time is, yo. <laughs> Jake go to the club, get him some cat. God damn, he thought he best night ever. Man, this the best like Sponge. This the best day ever. Whoa. Like SpongeBob, god damn. Man, you say one man. day in heaven. One day in heaven gonna be like how many yeah. Yeah, the, the, of um, our best days here? Yeah. One day to... in the Lord's court is gonna be better than a thousand. Yep. On this side, rough paraphrase. I got one straight to the point. You got it. It's Ecclesiastes 1 and 14. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun. What's under the sun? The earth, man. Right. All the works that are done on the earth, man. 
that mm -hmm. are done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and vanity in the spirit, man. Yep. All this shit is vexation of spirit at the end of the day. When you understand this truth, you get vexed in the spirit by this stupid ass bullshit, man, they got going on. And all of it is to keep you niggas dumb the fuck down. Yep. That's why the Lord reserved an elect, man, that's going to come back to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Those are the only ones that the Lord loves. Those that dwell with wisdom. If you're not dwelling in wisdom, the Lord is going to off you, man. Point blank, period. You got it? Hey, just, just, just like uh, <laughs> just, just like Agent Orange, you know, the, the second attempt with him. Yep. <laughs> you're like the third attempt. Holy shit. <laughs> They on Trump ad. They on his yeah, ad. Yeah. Oh, oh, they on That boy got some more bread on his head. Bro. <laughs> Let me get that word, though. The definition of the word vanity. It say vanity in the, um, or oh, this the Oxford language. It's from the Oxford language dictionary, but the simple Google definition. Definition, what we call it. It say ex excessive pride and in excessive or what excessive pride. Uh. It's, it's a couple of different definitions. It say excessive pride in or um admiration of one's own appearance or achievements. Self idolatry. Yep. That's self idolatry. Your pride, pride go before destruction, and a hearty spirit before a motherfucking fall, man. Yep. You got it. But these some of the similar words: conceit, yeah. conceit, conceitedness, yep. self conceit, narcissism. Ooh. You know. Damn. But that, that's that's pretty heavy. much the point. I'm gonna go to the next one. When you go and, to the oh, Statue of Liberty, the, I'm, 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 so like, let me get the opposite word of the old conceit, conceitedness, modesty. You know, yep. the opposite mm -hmm. of of that form of vain. A opposite word for that form of vain is modesty. And but none of these motherfucking females dressed in modest apparel, man. Yep. Or have none a modest mind. Exactly. You know, because it ain't even going into the, uh, well, yeah, it was. It's, it did say appearance of oneself. Hell yeah. You know? But like you say, it still starts in the mind, though. Yeah. Because yep. you got to want to be modest for you to dress modestly, man. You got it. Huh. Uh, this that Statue of Liberty, book. that was heavy. That picture, because, uh, you know, the blood moon behind it. Liberty mean to be liberated, up to be, uh, up, basically to have freedom. Yeah, you got freedom. And, and these people got, they don't go by no laws of the Lord. They just up, they lift their own selves up and they pride. It's like, yep. yep. Uh -huh. And all they speak about it, they got damn self. And that's another bullet point of that same word uh, definition. It say denoting a person or a company that published works at the author's expense. Uh, that ain't no good one. But here go one. It say the second one. It say the quality of men worthless or futile. Hmm. You know, vanity. The quality of men worthless or futile. And that's the that's the point. Like everything is vanity, because what the scriptures say in Second Peter's. Let me get it real quick. You know, let me get it real quick in the book Second Peter's chapter three, and verse. I got you. You got it. Yep. Three and what? So they love. Yep, straight to the point. Yep. Yeah, I was holding that. Um, I right, start at verse ten. Yeah, I start at ten. Yep. Let's start at nine. Shit. Come. 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 Mm, yeah, come on now. Uh, Second Peter three and nine, it says the Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering. Yeah, to... 
it's like a thousand years is is to us is just one day to the Lord. So it, you know the Lord, it seemed like the prophecies taking forever to come, but they 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 here, and the Lord said He ain't slacks so like. Yeah, yeah, come. That was verse eight, what you just said. But yeah, uh, verse oh, nine. On. Yeah, you good. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Verse ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements yeah. shall melt with fervent heat. The dude on the comment board talking about some uh, oh your apostle said in two the year two thousand <laughs> it was supposed to be the end niggas. of the Don't world. Even quote what these niggas say. Fuck it, we teaching. Fuck them niggas. Them niggas. No, he, he bringing up. Lord. No, he bringing up an old point. Oh. Make it just saying how, how yeah. you know the Lord said a thousand years to him, to oh, us oh, is oh, one so day like, to him. Like, so he said he gonna man. come back. He gonna come back and send his son. He gonna send his son back, and, and you know a lot of people like, oh, that's that's not in our lifetimes, all that type of stuff. Or yeah. it was supposed to happen in the year two thousand, but the Lord, the Lord is coming, man. Mm -hmm. I didn't sure. comment. Definitely, he, he, yeah, yeah. It's like, are oh, you good? Um, verse ten again. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away. Was that a brother? Nah, that was a, 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 a scoffer. Oh, okay. That that, was that, that ain't on this. There ain't nobody saying nothing on this one. He he talking about um. What they that wasn't the day of time. That was a lesson. Uh, oh. that a, a few lives That's, back we did. Three, wait, three he weeks was, ago at was, camp. Yeah, he was hollering oh, okay. about uh y'all said it talking about y'all false prophet. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember. I remember. They said that the, that the destruction will come in the year two thousand. They he was saying that. Don't you? Okay, come, come. Cause I looked at the chat. I ain't see no chat. But uh, I, I nah, know what you talking about though. Yeah. Yeah. Come verse ten life. again. Yeah, you good. Verse 10 again, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. All that vanity bullshit, man. You know, it's that everything under the sun. The earth is under the sun, man. <laughs> the elements is getting ready to melt with fervent heat, man. Do you do y'all not understand that shit, man? Hey. Well, y'all here partying and bullshitting, man, all that type of dumb ass shit, man. The Lord is gonna catch you in the midst of that shit, man. Uh, he gonna leave your ass here and melt you, man. We gonna party and bullshit. bullshit. We gonna party <laughs> and bullshit. Man, that's scary as hell, bro. Yep. And to not know how you're going to escape that. We trying to tell you how to escape. First, you need to repent. And you need to come out of that, uh, fucking, fool, that fucking foolery, man. Ain't you know? that why the Lord said this? Uh, real quick. Yeah. Come this is the book of, of Jeremiah. Yeah, this is the book of Jeremiah yeah. chapter 30 and verse um, straight to the point. Verse 6. Uh, verse 5, it says, For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now, and see whether a man do travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces turn into paleness. Yeah. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. See, the Lord got some fun, nigga, man. Huh. You know? <laughs> hey, you, you, hey, the Lord finna not pride clean oh, out man. a nigga, man. Yep. Yeah, I, people in general, especially here in America, because boy, when the missiles get shot off, <laughs> it ain't gonna be nothing you can do. You ain't gonna be able man. to fly away. Because the missiles gonna get hit before the fucking plane can take off. Oh, man. my goodness. <laughs> you know? 
Uh, you think you're gonna be the missile gonna be dropping on to hit the plane? You know, they Ooh, already okay. detonate mid air, they don't hit the ground. Thermonuclear missiles don't hit the ground, they blow up before they hit the ground, man. Yo, nobody say the election shall be saved by the skin of their but, teeth, man. Yep, scarcely be saved, scarcely, man. I got the uh, strong definition of paleness it says, um, paleness, whether of persons from fright. <laughs> yep. That's pretty much the point, man. Yep. The light, the, the Lord finna scare the life out of you people. Then he gonna kill you, man. Yep. You know? Yeah. Scared lifeless. Hopelessness within your fear. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> shit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like on a cartoon. Well, if I get scared on a cartoon, they turn different colors and shit. You know? All the pigment leaves, you know? Like, yeah, like they uh, turn into a ghost down there. You know? Let me get the uh the gen the gentinuous Hebrews child lexicon. It says of persons paleness of face that lurid that lurid greenish color in the countenance of men when smitten with great terror. Mm -hmm. That's Jeremiah thirty and six. Yep, and that's what the Lord finna do, smite niggas. You know, smite the people of the earth with great terror, man. Yep, and ain't that, nobody that, uh, gonna have no answers but the elect, you know. Zip. But and the Lord out. gonna cut, yep, blackout, teeth of wild beast, dollar collapse, all hell breaking loose, hopelessness, man. That's why the Lord say, when I come, shall there be faith on the earth? Yeah, but the Lord, yeah, the Lord is gonna be faith on the Lord, on the earth. The Lord gonna find faith in His servants, man. And those who truly believe and trust in His word, this knowledge. And obtain this knowledge, wisdom, understanding, but only the elect is, is able to do that. Nobody else can do that but the elect. No heathen can't get the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Yep. You know, two thirds can't obtain the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding and hold on to it dearly. You know? Yep. Let me grab We this. pray we are part of the elect and we can hold on to our crown, hold on to this wisdom. Come. You got it. It's Isaiah 66 and 4. I also will choose their delusions, which we went into earlier. We quoted it. And will bring their fears upon them. It's the Lord talking, man. He said, I was going to bring your fears upon you. What you niggas fear the most? Mm -hmm. You can get that, man. Yep. I will bring their fears upon them because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear. But they did evil before mine eyes and choose that in which I delighted not. We supposed oh, to be right. trying to do what pleasing in the sight of the heavenly Father, man. Not not pissing him off, doing what he delighted. Not in, man. It says, "Hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh, ye that tremble at His word." Your brethren that hated you, that cast you out for my name's sake, said, "Let the Lord Yahweh be glorified, but He shall appear to your joy, and they shall be ashamed." You niggas gonna be ashamed, man, for what the fuck you did in your life, man. Let me back when you, you get deaf, when you get deaf on this side and you got to come back as a baby in the kingdom and know that you fucked up and you got your ass smitten and consumed off the face of the earth in that fervent heat. Oh my goodness, man. Mm. <laughs> Y'all got it. Let me back it with this the brother uh Godard quoted earlier, second Ezra chapter nine, verse uh, verse eleven. And they that have loathed my law. While they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open liberty, unto them, like that, like that blood move was behind the statue, statue of liberty, and the statue of liberty is a so-called fucking female. It's mainly talk about you, motherfuckers, man, because you got liberty to do what you want to do, man. You got you got liberated during the uh women's lib movement. <laughs> That's right. You know, night back in what nineteen thirty two. When you motherfuckers mm -hmm. wanted to wear the pants and work the same jobs as men, now you got now you got men going into your sport, beating your ass to death, man, to sleep. You know that's what you asked for. You got. It. When as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. You the hated same as despise going into hate. You hated this word, man. The word is like a two-edged sword. It cuts your ass in the spirit to where you to the point that you hate it. You got it. Come on. Verse 12. The same must know it after death by pain. Thanks. 
They don't need no heavy breakdown, man. Uh, that's, that's it. So I got one real quick back at uh that one lock brought up. This proverbs one that's straight to the point. And verse I started twenty three. It say, "Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you, because I have called and you have refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have said at not all my counsels and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity and I will mock when your fear cometh." Yeah, because all, so, you women that had so called hope for men or the Lord. They tried to tell you, man, but you shun yeah. that shit, man. So, hey, listen, don't, don't, don't think it's far fetched that the Lord destroy these motherfuckers. That, hey, that we, that we with, man. If yeah, they, they ain't listening and they ain't getting their ass in order, it's over with for them. Yeah. Point point smoke blank, they fucking head. period, man. Yeah. Uh, Remember Lot's wife. Yeah. Yeah, the hoe uh, done. Got it say to finish it off. It say when fear, when your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Yep. Then shall they seek me. Then shall they seek me early, but they shall not early. find me. Yeah, that's going to the, when they gonna be running to and fro. To seek the knowledge of the Lord. And who they gonna be seeking? The prophets. That's right. <laughs> and that goes to everybody. Lord, <laughs> I said, you the know, Lord just say, like you were saying, yeah, the same bitches, you know, that left, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. the whole that left the men of the Lord. Yep. You Look, know, these the same as women. Yeah. Hey, they gonna be look, oh, what we gonna do? Nah, what you gonna do? <laughs> Ain't no we. <laughs> We ain't been we in all these months, years, or however long it been. Now you talking about we, nigga? You ain't French. We, goddamn. Hey, I got we, a, we. I got a priest up for that question. We, we <laughs> finna die. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Jeremiah fifteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um. I'm going to start at the top. Jeremiah 15 and 1. Then said the Lord Yahweh unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, thus said the Lord Yahweh, such as for death to death and such as or for the sword to the sword, and such as for the famine to the famine, and such as for the captivity to the captivity. And that's what's getting ready to go down. That's why we having all these blood moons, man. You you motherfucker finna get 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 put toward the sword. You finna get put toward the famine. You yeah. finna get put to, to captivity, man, in those FEMA camps. Uh, like, it's a fucking game. Uh, yeah. You all gonna be getting six traffic and everything else too, man. You know? If you don't get caught up, see a woman, she th she if a woman ain't a, uh, <laughs> you know, under the hedge and protection that you have by some you shot that ass is grass. It's over. It's over with. Like you, people are gonna just the, the men of the earth just gonna have their way with you. Come. You're going to be like a, a fucking cigarette lighter in that day. You're going to be like a, a, a goddamn drug, like drugs. You're going to be like cigarettes, actual cigarettes. You're going to yeah. be like liquor. You're going to be a barter tool. Yeah, you're going to be a, a, a part of the <laughs> barter. Bar, you're going to be a barter <laughs> item in the bartering system, man. Fuck yeah. <laughs> gonna barter you the might fuck just be man. food on the menu for hey, some who, crazy yeah. motherfucker, man. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that's how. Oh, yeah. That's how. Hey, man. Hey, man. We in some beautiful times. Man. And, and he who laughs last laughs the hardest. Exactly. And the loudest. Yep. Yep. 
Oh, we gonna laugh oh, like <laughs> we gonna laugh like we, we gonna laugh like the rich eat about. Oh, yeah, deep laugh. You gotta be like Santa Claus laughing at your motherfucking ass. Oh, straight up. All right, my soul. Yeah, yeah. Y'all brothers got a anything else. We're gonna wrap it up. Brothers got well, yeah. let me let me get let me get verse three. Jeremiah 19 it. and 3. And yeah. I will appoint over them four kinds, said the Lord Yahweh. Uh-huh. The sword to slay, and the dog to tear, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. Yeah. Because you, you can see that right to the day, like those uh what it was that got that 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 uh the Ammonite uh 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 Moab Moab artists artists got oh yeah no artists got on that so. ass. <laughs> I ain't that never heard of no artists you know I know artists I know a, you know a little bit about a, a lot of different animals artists some very hey artists got them you they know intelligent yeah they they not only intelligent but they aggressive than a motherfucker. Yeah. It, it, they ain't aggressive, but they will fuck some shit up. Put yeah, it like that. Like alligators and shit, they don't fuck with otters. Otters <laughs> kill an alligator, you know what I'm saying? Just like mm-hmm. dolphins kill sharks, you know what I'm saying? But for them otters to attack a bitch, yeah, damn. <laughs> I seen that shit. I need oh, game think. over. I got them goddamn. That's a video, that. <laughs> that was Teeth the Wild. I seen another one. It was like 20 Great Danes had deleted the woman. Damn. In the neighborhood. I'm gonna yeah, start sharing it. Yeah, great dang. That bitch knows Big as hell. racing, man. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, school yeah, was a great dang. Yep. <laughs> no, no, no. Great dang. Great. Yeah, great dang. Yeah, yeah great dang. Them motherfuckers are big as hell. Yeah, the, they really? tall and, and they, no, think, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. They that's taller that's than Kane Corso. Damn. That's like a, they in the Kane Corso family. Damn. Uh, a uh, you talking about a greyhound? Greyhound, yep. yeah. Greyhound is a race dog. Yeah, great yeah. dane, Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo is yeah. a great dane. Yeah, great dane. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was gonna say I know it's great something. Yeah, it's great dane. Yep. yep. A greyhound, though, that's the racing dogs. Like, yeah, but the great dane, that's them big tall Scooby Doo dogs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got a quick one, Rebecca. Yeah, but uh, they ain't Zeke. even known for like they they oh, not man. those kind of dogs. Though. They right. not bred to do that. They uh, not right. bred to be guard dogs and attack dogs and right. shit for them but to that, kill that somebody. But that's the goal. The Lord put the spirit on them. Exactly. Right. The Lord that's making the good on His promises. Yep, that's mm-hmm. the point. Hell yeah. This is back you. This is Ezekiel twenty-two verse eighteen. Son of man, the house of Israel is to me become dross. All they are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. And what they you do with that shit? You got to melt that shit off. Yep. You got it. To get to they the pure are, gold. Mm-hmm. They are pure, even the dross gold, of pure silver. Pure gold is found within the elect. Yep. Everything, everybody, I got to be burnt the fuck off to get to the elect. On the elect gonna stand through that fiery furnace. You got it. Yep. It said they are the dross of silver, meaning the all the, the infirmities on the on Impurity. that you burn off. Yep. Mm-hmm. It says verse 19, therefore thus saith the Lord power, because ye are all become dross, behold, therefore I will gather you in the midst of Jerusalem, and they gather as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace. To blow the fire upon it to melt it. So will I gather you in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. Hmm. I got a definition for dross. It says something regarded as worthless, rubbish. Yep. And that's the worthless parts of, of Israel. Yep, two thirds. Two thirds shall be cut off and die, but third shall be left there. The multitude you know? that were born in vain. I was just thinking that. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, oh, don't worry about the multitude yeah. that were born in vain. Yep. No. 
and yeah. and our people that they gonna know it's the Lord doing it in mm -hmm. the time to come, because yeah. just like you said with the animals, yep, it's hey, a yay I will give you. Like the Lord gonna put it in their mind, like the Lord gonna have the angels tap oh, yeah. into their mind and be like, yeah, you know what is happening, right? <laughs> you remember those men? Yeah. Yep. The money. one you said had on dresses. The one yep. you said. This shit, the worst thing going. You know, get y'all bitch ass in front of that sign. Yeah, get y'all bitch ass from in front of that sign. That one nigga that paid by the other day. We got whatever that nigga said. We got switches or some shit. But I don't know mm -hmm. what the nigga said. He said some crazy shit. You know, these young niggas be saying all kind of shit. Boy, but all gonna get... these things are gonna be re recounted before you, man. You know. Buddha, said money, Buddha, whatever that nigga name was, the dumb mm -hmm. shit he said, I'm tight on the comic board. Right. Hey, can't, forget got a, can't forget the nigga the pad by said, I got that blinking. Yeah, that that's what he what said, said then. Yeah, I got the, that blinking. The, the, the yeah. last nigga that pad by said, that said yeah, that something. was the re the most recent nigga. Yeah. Man, then that, gonna that, that he gonna get blink with a blinky. Yep. Then that, that old Edomite old, over there in Gulfport, y'all still niggas. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. This is for all them. <laughs> I got Matthew 12 and 36, but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment. So when, like I said, when your day of judgment come, the angels going to tap it to your mind. And let you know why the hell this is happening to you. Yep. Do you remember that? Shit, I, I honestly believe it happened at night when motherfuckers yeah, do ain't no right doubt. be getting their ass put down. The hobby like know, to look at the it. Lord be flashing shit in their mind, like, yeah, you remember such and such? You were talking shit about this prophet or that prophet. You might did some shit paid by video. Hey, Lord, Lord mercy, uh, the Lord has a, a short and a longer tolerance for different people. So you can do one thing and get took the fuck out, man. Right. If you ain't a part of these lick. <laughs> and then other people, they may can go a little longer. You know, yep. but you can do one or two little things if you ain't part of the lick. Lord take you out horrifically and flash it before your eye before, while you die and feel like you died for a year. You yep. know? <laughs> and it ain't take nothing but a second. You will die forever, God. And if your ass escapes some kind of harsh judgment, that means the Lord saving you for an even harsher judgment than nukes. Uh, like, cause the yeah, human, they think that God. they think they uh, ways are being hid from the Lord, and that the Lord don't see them. But the the eyes of the Lord, the angels, is everywhere, beholding all the the, the good and the evil that every man does. You know. Yep. I'm going to finish this, Ezekiel 21 and 20, 22, verse 21. Yea, I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath, and ye shall be melted in the midst thereof, and as silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof, and ye shall know that I, the Lord, Yahweh, have poured out my fury upon you. Yeah, you don't want to be melted by the Lord, man. So repent, you know, turn back to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, the signs are very evident that we in the end, we in the very end of the end, you know. So turn back to your how about show me how shy your power if you are part of the, the uh, 12 tribes of Israel because this truth ain't for everybody, you know. This truth ain't for all nations, everybody that believe in Jesus Christ. No, Jesus Christ gonna get a lot of people killed, man. Come all you people, you know. That Christianity right. shit gonna get a lot of people killed. No, you better repent and turn back to your how about show me how was shot. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, or you finna get caught up in some severe judgment, man. Yo. Right. You know, but you know, man. Lord willing this lesson was edifying. We're gonna end it giving all honor and glory to your how was shot and double on us once again to the apostle. And the elders of Great Millstone rule well been great example to his younger brothers in the truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful league. Shalom. Kwame Yashala in the ball. Kwame Yashala. 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 Kwame Yashala.